Okay, so here we have um, garlic. We're going to peel this garlic. Normally to peel this, we need to remove the ends of it. You know, this one here and that one over there. And then we're going to use a knife to actually press on it. Well, this time we're, get, we're just gonna shake it. Put the top. without skin. Let's do it now. Left to right, up and down. Left to right. So now there's a lot. But there's one garlic that remains there. One bulb. So we'll open this. We are going to remove the peels. And we are going to put this in the compost. So here's our garlic. This, we haven't removed that, so uh, it could be easier if we remove this so next time we remove the bottom first before we shake and this one also see it's still intact we will um, separate the clothes from the skin the skin will put it in the compost. So we're uh, putting this, the skin in the compost. Okay. So I removed the bottom before putting it back so that it will be easier to shake. See that? So it will be easier, yeah? So now we have it. So I took some of them from inside the bottle and crushed them with this knife. See that? It's crushed. Now I'm going to remove the outer portion, the skin again, put it in the compost. Okay, and put it in what I'm cooking because it's already about seven minutes of shaking. So yeah, this, this is hacking the kitchen hacks.
that's being shown in YouTube since it's being practical, you know. Uh, it's not as magical as some are being shown to be. I've seen these hacks like many times with different um, with different YouTubers and because our purpose is to get a lot of likes and a lot of subscription we sacrifice on the reality of it all this is to me real you know I'm cooking something so I need this much cloves of garlic and I don't want it to be chopped up finely I just want it to be crushed peeled and crushed okay and this to me is more practical this is a hack of a kitchen hat that I saw in YouTube this is how I'm gonna do it as a cook cooking for myself okay this is lamb with beetroot we are putting the garlic in there about eight garlic cloves so we put in two small beets and a pound of grass-fed lamb and then one tablespoon of lime juice we're hacking the Philippine adobo in and making it into American adobo since uh, there are so many options here in America. This is the lamb adobo. We're putting in some salt, however much you need. We're putting in three bay leaves. And we're going to simmer this again until this is soft. This is one tablespoon of nutritional yeast. And we're going to close it and simmer. 